Francisco Alvarado, Assistant Director of the Department of Illinois Rehabilitation Services. Today I'm, I am the, uh, you know, I've been the Assistant Director for the Division of Rehabilitation Services for over 10 years. I am also the Administrator of Operations for the Division of Rehabilitation this last uh, three years. And in managing the operations and assisting the directors in the programs, it has been a tremendous opportunity for me. Uh, so who we are is a division. I think today we are a comprehensive service program that looks at the individual's um, needs in terms of their desires of who they want to be in the future what they want to do with their lives and that's what my hope is you know my hope is that counselors will not see themselves as um, case managers community-based organizations and nonprofit organizations in our community are the pillar of the resources and supports in our communities you know before they existed, most of the resources and supports would come from your local church or, uh, you know, civic organizations to help the individuals in need in our communities. As community-based organizations have grown, they've all developed with different identities and different purposes, and they all have their uh, group logo in terms of who they serve, what their mission is, you know, as community-based organizations started developing in the early 70s, they all had a mission, a vision. You know, they did their strategic planning and try to create their identity and who they were. In general, they all serve their community. Therefore, in their community, of course, there are people with disabilities, whether they focused on this aspect of disabilities or not. Uh, you know, I, I think that that's, that's something that needs to be spoken about. But community-based organizations are organizations that are very eager to expand. They are individuals that uh, have roots in the community. And many of them have people that are working in these organizations now that are three, four, third and fourth generation of family members that used to work at those community-based organizations. So the roots in these organizations are very deep. And that's really important that these organizations be brought to the level of awareness of understanding that people with disabilities uh, really need and would benefit from their services and their value. So in working with them, uh, you know, if they're immigrant communities, if they're refugee communities, or if they're communities that are limited English proficient, all of these communities have are in common contact with, with people with disabilities, whether it's in their families or in the communities. And educating them on the value of the existence of disability services is something that I'm sure would come very natural to community-based organizations because they're always looking to enhance and build themselves. I and mean, we have to remember that they were created out of need. There was a need that was identified that was needed to be filled or needed to be um, addressed. So in their communities, there is a need for them to be able to understand how to help people with disabilities. So they already have that model within their agency to be a helping entity. So disability services and understanding them and linking them and adding disability components to CBOs is a natural fit. And I think that you, what you will find is you will find a great amount of interest you will find in uh, community-based organizations that are truly going to want to become experts in the field of disabilities. And they're going to want to help build those bridges with the agencies that provide these services directly. So as you're working with them, I think you should focus on that aspect. And yes, you know, offer the opportunity to engage them on this subject and offer to create that bridge, uh, to help bridge that gap within their agencies. Uh, because most of the agencies in our, in our communities are struggling 
they are, you know, trying to get themselves back together because the last four or six years, uh, they lost a tremendous amount of funding. Uh, they were under a lot of different types of attacks. And so they're just barely getting themselves together. So as they restructure at this point, it, to me, it would make total sense to add uh, a component of serving people with disabilities, uh, helping them understand that they already have 90% of the tools within their agencies to help individuals with disabilities. And they just need a tiny bit of information that can be easily transmitted to them to be able to enhance their capacity to provide the benefits of what they're already doing, this great work in the community, but will be also extended to the disability community. A partnership with University of Illinois Chicago, Institute on Disability and Human Development, and Illinois Department of Human Services, IDHS.